Hi folks, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and today I want to talk to you about a couple of our rings that have been around for a little while. We have the 3D500 and the 3D400. They each have a little bit different use so let's go through and talk about why they're set up the way that they are. The 3D500 was the first series of rings that we had with the soft silicone faces. The addition of the soft silicone allows the ring to adapt to the tooth surface surface to seal up the buccal and lingual margins and provide greater flash control. The plastic on this ring is called Peak. It is considered a super plastic. It's incredibly durable and reinforces the metal of the ring to provide increased tooth separating pressure and longevity. So that's kind of the features and benefits of the 3D500. The 400, it's kind of similar to some of our original metal rings from way back in 1997. This one includes a plastic reinforcement on the back to again increase the strength and longevity but the tiny little metal tips allows this ring to really grip well in conditions where the 500 would slip off. You can stack them in any order. I'm going to put the 400 on first and with these tiny little tips my preferred placement is between between the band and the wedge. That's where these rings typically are placed. If for whatever reason you end up on the opposite side, you're still getting the same amount of tooth separating pressure. Right here, there's actually a gap in here. If I'm using a high viscosity resin and I'm packing that in there, I can actually squeeze quite a bit out the side. That's where that flash control comes into play. One of the other little downfalls is if this prep was just a little bit wider, I might be pushing the band into the box with the tine of the ring. If that happens, you can do actually kind of a kitty corner placement. So now the 500, the soft face ring, I got a really intimate interface here between the band and the tooth. They're designed to fit right over top of the wedge. All that monkeying around with trying to figure out where to place the thin tined ring, I don't have to do that with these. They always go in the same position. Now let's talk about retention in a difficult situation. I can apply a ring there and I have really good retention. It's going to stay there and I could restore the distal of that canine if need be. The 3D500 with the soft silicone does not grip as well on the cingulum here. I've got just a tenuous hold there and it's right on the rubber and it boop, will pop off. In difficult to retain situations, you're going to go to the 400 on a typical molar or premolar restoration. The 500 should grip just fine and give you superior matrix adaptation to the tooth and much less flash. <music>